Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is a quick video on how you can upgrade from your original ignition coils to stick coils on your Hinkley pre-fuel injection triples. So real quick, just to show you what's in the kit, you get three seals that go on the top of the cylinder in the cover to prevent any moisture or dirt to get in the cylinder head along the coil. You get three stick coils that go on top of the spark plug and three wires to connect the original wiring loom to your stick coils. Now I should mention this is not a sponsored video. I bought these parts and um, if you want to know more about them or where I got them from or where you can get them from, please check the description below. Now, what are the advantages of these coils over the original ones? Well, they're much more compact. They just sit in the cylinder head. That's all that's sticking out rather than having the coil bolted on the frame so if you've got a custom bike or you, you don't want those parts there this could be a good option also this eliminates the need for having a um, HT lead so this goes straight on top of the coil rather than having a coil bolted on the frame and the HT lead into the cylinder head so less things to go wrong and in theory these should give a better spark something we're gonna try to prove later on now let's take the seat and the fuel tank off real quick and get on with the job that was quick and easy. So here are the three original ignition coils for cylinder number three, two and one. And all these we are going to remove. The HT leads we're not going to need anymore because our new stick coils are going to sit right into the head. And these wires here, we're just going to add the wires we get in the kit from each of these two all the way to the ignition coil. So yeah, first step, let's remove all the old stuff and start installing the new ones. Right, we've got all the bits we don't need anymore off. It all looks much cleaner. Not that you're gonna see this when you have the fuel tank back on. But yeah, the new system is much neater and cleaner. Now, as promised, I'm gonna try to compare the two coils and see if we, we can see a difference in spark. We've got the red on the right side, the original coil. While well, on the left side, that's black, the, um, the new coil. The sparks are identical, not brand new, but identical spark plugs, and I've just cleaned them. So let's see what it looks like. So yeah, not sure how well the camera picked that up, but um... To my eye, the new coals produce a much better spark, so I think it's definitely worth the upgrade. Now, how do we install the new coals? I've already went ahead and installed the first and second cylinders, so it's just the third cylinder now. We grab our little seal, squirt a bit of silicon oil on it to make installation easier. And we've got the coil as well. You don't have to put too much, just a tiny bit helps it slide in a lot easier and that's it now if you want to remove it the seal is probably going to come with it but you just press it back in make sure the seal is seated and it's all good to go and on to the wiring now the wiring is pretty easy to do we've got the three small little harnesses to plug in and that's about it now in case you forgot this was coil number three number two and number one this is where they were plugged in and we also have cylinder 
coil number three, two in the middle, and one on the left side. In case you forgot that, or you're not sure, the, uh, the loom is quite easy. If you notice here, maybe a bit too far, but I'll just show you on the loom. You can see each one has one red wire, but the other wire differs in color. You got a brown and yellow, a green and gray, and a blue and yellow. And you need to match those wires, those co the, the color of the wires, with these wires here. So it's really easy. And on the other side, once you're done with that, you've got a little number on each curl, same as on the original ones. So let's get on with it. When did we fall through? How come you don't care And now to finish it off a bit, we're going to put some loom tape over these and use some zip ties to tie them up to the frame so it all looks neat. bit of electrical tape just to keep the ends from coming off. And that's it, we're done. We can put the fuel tank back on, see it, and let's go for a ride.